Hey guys, it's me, Gumson, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. As always, I do every, every Saturday that covers this week's past news. So, we got a lot of more news, and we got some disappointing news with that involves Darko. But let's jump right into the video. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and comment below what your favorite thing about this video was. But let's begin with the mods. So, we got our first full look at the upcoming spring track after the U2's figure. So we're gonna see him, he's doing one of the poses that you get from one of the secret screens. Like, holding his mouth out, trying to escape the spring lock suit. But sadly, there was no escape for spring trap. He's just in constant agony, which is dissolved. But it's very cool looking, we just got an image of it. Uh, there's a 3D torn around of the figure. So we're gonna see all the angles of the figure. And it, it looks pretty good, it's pretty high detailed, and I can't wait to see the thing in real life, so. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool look at the U2 Spring Trap after the U2's figure. Also, we got a first new look at new Five Nights at Freddy's Milk Chocolate Balls from Spencer. So, we are getting chocolate balls from for Spencer's of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's kind of weird when you think about it. it the image only says uh, Chica, Freddy, and Foxy. But I'm pretty sure I saw a Roxy one, but it sadly has raisins in it. I'm not sure if anybody would buy that raisins. And also, here's one thing I'm concerned about. Spencer's is not very a PG friendly place. They do sell some stuff that is for uh, adults and stuff. And uh, if you want to look at this on the website, you might see something that you don't want to see. So if you're a parent, please do this not with your kid because uh, you might you might traumatize your kid. Uh, just wanted to tell you guys if you don't know what Spencer's is. It's kind of like half like pop culture, half adult shop. So. Gotta be careful when you're buying stuff off this website so you don't traumatize yourself or your kid, okay? So, parents, use your, your kid. Do it when you not with your kids, okay? Gonna get them something cool or something. But yeah, there's some chocolate bars. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna taste like pretty cheap chocolate, uh, but it, I like cheap chocolate. Chocolate really holds my stomach, so I'm, I'm iffy about chocolate, but. That's pretty cool, just be careful on Spencer's website, just for you parents out there. We also got some YouTube's news, so YouTube has revealed the next Five Nights at Freddy's Wave releasing on October 27th, which is tomorrow actually. This launch includes walks and slippers, plutsies, shoulder riders, monitor buddies, and a FNAF 2 puzzle and a light stand. So we got a lot of stuff to look at, so let's look at the puzzle right off the bat. So the puzzle, I think they're all the withered animatronics, yeah they are all the withered animatronics and they're look, looking down on you or something, it's, it's very creepy looking. Yeah, there's also the pup in the background I believe, it's it's very cool looking, it's very cool looking, it's a puzzle too, so if you like puzzles, you can pick this up. Maybe you two should do a giveaway, I hope I win it, but yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, it's pretty cool. We also got some other stuff that they're revealing, like the wet floor bot bus, which is super cute. If you like the, I like the wet floor bot, I think it's very cute. I really liked it in security weeds. We got some walks in with slippers, which is awesome. I love slippers. I need some new slippers, so maybe I can pick this up because my bench time ones are kind of wearing down. We got some Five Nights at Freddy's Soto White so we got one of Baby, Wing Trap, Chica, Buddy or Golden Freddy. It's kind of shiny, so I can't really tell. And Glamrock Chica, so they all look pretty cute. Baby is very smiley for some they're all pretty happy actually for some reason. They're all very happy killer animatronics. Well except one, because one's happy. But you know, you know what I mean. And we got a weighted Roxy Plus. And people have been making fun of this online because it does look kind of dopey. But I love Roxy. I'm a big Roxy level. I love her so much. So I don't really mind. I think it's cute looking and if you it's gonna be I don't never heard of a weighted plus before so probably gonna be heavy i'm assuming like i'm thinking of a weighted blanket here but it's it's very cool we, a lot of cool stuff here and if you're a Roxy fan like me you got a lot of cool stuff and they're probably gonna do a giveaway so check out on twitter if you see it or not okay so keep an eye out for the giveaway but we also gotta look at the new upcoming glamrock buddy monty glamrock chica and roxy wolf x pluses Darko also confirmed that glamrock bonnie plus will be made in the future so if you like Glamrock Bonnie, uh, he's coming up in the future so you can have Freddy and his boyfriend together and stuff like that. So, we gotta look at Freddy, Monty, Chica, and Roxy. We all know what they look like already, so I already knew what they're gonna look like. They look all pretty good. This is probably the best Hex batch that has came out actually. So, I'm looking forward to this. Um, so, it, it, they look, all look great. I can't really say much about them. I just think they look all, they all look cute, and I can't wait for people to have them. Um, also, it's perfect timing for the upcoming uh, Christmas season. I know it's October, but we don't want to heal Christmas. Doc is probably going to be doing a Christmas sale or something, so I might pick some of these up. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. We also got a full suck of Funko's upcoming 16 inch glitch trap plus exclusive to GameStop. The so GameStop is getting a 
glitch trap plusy it's not the glitch trap you think it's very very yellow it's very high quality but sadly it's yet again exclusive at gamestop which is disappointing we all hate exclusivity but it's pretty big i think it's like one of those giant plusies like i remember when i was a kid when i went to gamestop like there was one giant one of foxy but yeah he is pretty big glitch trap is looking pretty huge he got whiskers he got the thing on his outfit on and but he's not really green like he's in the game so it's like it's kind of weird it's more like the yellow rabbit than plus trap but it's whatever but it's coming to gamestop so keep an eye out for that when it's at gamestop okay and also bioward has released a new monty gator plus backpack to hot topic so be nice to him he's just a little silly that's what johnny block said and yeah he does look kind of weird i'm not gonna lie he's, he looks like he got stung by a bee or something but his face is so big like it's, it's kind of funny it's silly looking i really like it it's kind of it's goofy but it's a backpack it's exclusive to hot topic so if you have a hot topic near you i suggest getting this because it's pretty silly looking and i'm not sure how these backpacks work i i never really understood kelto backpacks really but they they he looks pretty cute i'm i'm liking it uh and that was all for the mulch news now let's get into the game news so Five Nights at Freddy's into the pit releases for Nintendo Switch on October 31st, so Mega Cat Studios is now focusing on releasing patches for PlayStation and Xbox as soon as possible. So, if you were wanting into the pit on Nintendo Switch, well guess what, in a few more days you're going to be able to get it, so I really highly uh, suggest you guys getting it. This game is a great FNAF game, it's really enjoyable, it is kind of on the short end, but on all FNAF games in the long end. But it's a very good game, and uh, if you play on PlayStation or Xbox, they are trying to release the patches as fast as possible. So if you're having any bugs and stuff like that, they are trying to do their job and trying to fix it. So look forward to that. So yeah, great, great, great news for uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's uh, game news. So yeah. But that was all for the game news. But now we got some sad news for etc. So Docker's doing this thing where he interviews people from like voice actors and stuff. But Matthew Lillard was silent now. But sadly... He did not know he was being he was participating so he, he said it's really weird i'm being advertised that i'm participating because i'm not so it's a whole thing about this but Darko and uh, fnaf were trying to do this thing Matthew, it wasn't guaranteed that matthew and Leonard would be there so it's kind of crazy for both of them do not send matthew Leonard or Darko or fnaf any hate they didn't mean to this the, the it was a miscommunication with them so it, this title thing is crazy but he's still signing stuff so if you actually gave him stuff to sign, he's signing it, that's just off stream. So yeah. So it's very crazy. I feel bad for everybody in this entire situation. Uh it's just it's just crazy. It's just it's just very wild. But uh that was all. I just also wanted to talk about some other news, but um you got like nine more days for the um Al Plus pulse. I actually got mine yesterday, so I got my first mort, I guess, of FNAF, but it's not really FNAF and it's supporting an indie team, so I'm very happy. I really like playtime with Pussy, so I'm glad I got the Pussy. I'll show you what it guys looks like. It comes with like three different faces. And the video was very cool when they revealed it, so I really like it. I'm getting it. It's going to take some time for it to deliver, but I expect great things from it. And also, if you get it, uh, you get an exclusive war in the, um, the playtime with Pussy Discord server. So. And also, since we still have time, I watched the FNAF movie yesterday, and it reached its first anniversary today or yesterday or something like that. And it's still a 10 out of 10 movie for me i really enjoyed the movie uh it was amazing like always i watched it was awesome i love the movie i was geeking out in the entire time about easter eggs and stuff like that and it's still a 10 out of 10 movie for me and it's still my favorite movie but that's basically everything this week a little all the mulch news some game news and some etc and some stuff for me of what i've been going through recently with fnaf but guys enjoy this video please like and subscribe don't forget to comment what your favorite thing about this video was or if i talked about like the pal plus or the fnaf movie so i would love to hear what you guys say but i will see you guys next time